So I'm wanting to make a couple of changes to my channel, my YouTube channel, just so that I can make it a little bit more interactive and to embrace the lifestyle of a fashion seller. And I just want to put more information out there. I've been on YouTube for quite a long time now and there. And I'm going to be doing, to begin with, a weekly, what I wear during the week, the outfits that I wear and how I style them. And if that's something that you're interested in me doing more often, please put that information in the link in the description. And I do wear my makes, and I do read my fashion and then I show you how I team it and how I style it. So that is what I want to add to the channel. Because I want to make sure that we're not just making for making sake, because I don't quite understand that anyway. But, um, but if you do, you do. Um, I'm not gonna judge. <laughs> um, but I want to show you how I wear my makes. So that is what I'm planning to do as part of a weekly, a weekly segment in, on my YouTube channel. But incorporating also some of the questions that you asked me in the comments. So like for today, I got a comment um, that was really interesting to me for a while actually because uh, one or two of you have been asking me if I have a pattern collection and I don't. Would I? Yes. Um, I'm planning to do one for the future, a pattern collection line. But, um, so I want to make these vlog type videos in order to help the industry of us making garments for many reasons. One of the biggest reasons is sustainability. Anybody who makes their own clothes, you, in my opinion, need to be congratulated because you are helping in the process of sustainability because the sewing community are making their own clothing and understanding the process and the time it takes to make a garment and appreciation that goes into the techniques of sewing a garment. So therefore, we are doing our bit maybe not realizing that we are doing our bit but we are and also when you're refashioning old clothing or new clothing or preferably more old clothing that also helps with sustainability as well so that's in my mission to help you understand that remaking old clothing is in my opinion the next step the industry needs to go into. I'm not going to go into any deep lengths about you know the environment or anything like that, but just keep it up. If you're doing it, keep it up. I will definitely do my bit in making sure that I can show you the possibilities um, that refashioning old clothing can bring new life into these garments, and you know hopefully you have them for many many years to come. So yeah, that is what I am planning to do at the moment um, with my channel. YouTube making lots of changes and I know they inform obviously YouTube creators um, and I'm assuming they do kind of inform subscribers about what's happening. Okay, um, I've just got myself a hot drink. Um, my battery died in the last segment so I'm recharging now I'm back. Now where was I? Um, yeah, change it to my YouTube channel. Um, let's just, and, and I'm going to start finishing up on this video. I don't want it to be too long. So I wanted to make changes, as I mentioned earlier in the video tutorial. And I also want to build a discussion within my YouTube channel, you know, with yourselves, asking me questions about the fashion industry, the sewing industry, um, education, sewing and fashion design within education, um, you know, anything that you really want to know about me within that area um, is up for discussion. Um, I'd love to do some video tutorials on those kind of topics. Um, I think you're probably interested in what I have to say. Um, what else? Yeah, anything else that you can think of that you think um, that should be talked about in order to encourage more people to become fashion sewers. And why I use the phrase fashion sewers 
rather than being a seamstress, which is what I've been called a few times, and I'm not a seamstress. And if you want me to give more clarity over the terminology that we use in the um, sewing industry, then put it in the comments. Um, and yeah, I just want my channel to be a little bit more two, two way, you know, a bit more interactive, a bit more about the sewing and fashion community, what we do and the fashion industry does, the way we are educating people in order to make their own garments, you know, video tutorials on YouTube, um, sewing classes, you know, anything that you can think of that you think will help, will help to bring the, the creative art of designing, pattern drafting and garment construction. Now, I worked in education for a long time, the university, colleges and schools. I'm going to put it at that level because I know they have changed now, it depends on what country you are from, but um, yeah, I'm old school and I'm sticking with it. So um, yeah, so I just want it to be a bit more topical and I want to see if I can make these topical informational videos um, on a weekly, if not, you know, every other week. Yeah, it's new, so you know, um, I'm just gonna need some time in order to work at format in order to make sure that I'm giving you what you want from my channel and also what I want as well. I just don't want it to be about techniques. Yes, I, there is lots of techniques and yes, I still will be doing techniques for part of my channel, but I also want my channel to grow from the perspective of learning, sewing, how we can move forward. I think I'm rambling a little bit now because I'm just trying to think, I'm just trying to think of things to say in order to help you think about what topics you want me to talk about and discuss. I'm gonna leave it there and I'm gonna say um, that if you're new to the channel, please do consider subscribing because I do sewing techniques, refashioning, new or old clothing, and then also do my style books. I'll definitely keep up doing my style books. I'm gonna change that a little bit as well, so um, I'll probably do a video tutorial on the reason why I'm changing that um, that format, but I'll always will be designing and you know, pattern drafting my own, my own clothing, so yeah. So please put um, all that information and questions and comments and you know all in the, the comment section below and I will see you next time.